By default, a motorcycle is a vehicle that raises adrenaline levels and gives excitement-filled freedom to the riders. But within the family of two-wheelers, there are some production models and custom creations that could be labeled as radical even by the aggressive motorbike standards. In today's episode of Automotive Territory, we'll be showing you the newest and some well-known builds that set a new benchmark of awesome for motorcycles. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell not to miss the upcoming releases. Enjoy the ride! BMW R90 – The Nostalgia Project The Enmoto is a Florida-based custom builder that designs, restores and modifies existing BMW motorcycles for its customers. The latest project, called the Nostalgia, is based on the familiar R90 motorbike, which on the outside looks nothing like the naked original. The custom project captures the design of the one-of-a-kind BMW R7 created back in 1934. It was the first to use Art Deco approach of using mathematical geometric shapes as the basis of its design and inspired production of the R17 and R5 models. The Nostalgia receives 96 handcrafted vintage parts, but keeps the original underpinnings so that the owners could enjoy actual writing of this collectible item rather than admiration in the garage. The completed modification starts at $49,500 and includes a brand new BMW R90, and the customers are given a choice of 13 different color combinations. Indy and the Appaloosa by Workhorse this extreme-looking motorbike culminates 700 hours of design and production carried out by the Workhorse Custom Builders team. And despite having nearly no resembles with the original, it is actually based on the Indian Scout Bobber. The Appaloosa, named after one of the fastest horse breeds in existence, celebrates the 100th anniversary of the model and is competing in this year's Sultans of Sprint Factory class race, piloted by Randy Mamola. The bike gets a new subframe, lower clip-on handlebars, and new drag-style foot controls, all of which were designed to tilt the rider forward, changing the sitting position and weight distribution. It also features a new Akrapovich exhaust, increasing its power output to 130 horses. BMW R90 Fighter Jet This custom is an official collaboration between BMW Motorrad and the British builder Auto Fabrica that pushes the boundaries of the avant-garde design. The R90 Scrambler's frame served as the basis for the project, receiving a new performance exhaust, custom fully adjustable suspension by the British Maxtron, aluminum monocoque tank, a set of five-spoke wheels, and a new gauge. Since aviation industry has been a significant part of the BMW's history, this bike celebrates the famous boxer engine with 1170cc displacement and follows aero themes in its exterior. The bodywork incorporates traditional aluminum elements as well as 3D printed and handmade pieces. The futuristic one-off is painted in the sapphire black on the main body, matte silver over the cylinder panels and winglets, while the seat is covered in Alcantara. BMW Motorrad Vision DC Roadster Together with the BMW Vision M Next Sports Car at the Next Gen event, the German automaker has also introduced the Motorrad Vision DC Roadster electric motorcycle. The brand's designers reinterpreted the looks of their classic models with two cylinder boxer engines. To save valuable space and keep the familiar design, the engineers installed the battery at the center of the frame and positioned the electric motor underneath. Here, it is perfectly cooled by the airflow passing during the ride and the additional cooling elements that move out when the bike starts. The framework is dominated by carbon fiber and milled aluminum, while all lights are built around LED elements. Even on the flanks of the tires, there are five fluorescent elements that improve the bike's visibility at night. Unfortunately for us, though, the Germans have not yet voiced any details about the technical characteristics of the concept or the date of the production model release. MV Agusta by Dow's Customs The custom-built MV Agusta by the California-based Dow's S Machina is a tribute to the 60s and 70s tourist trophy racing. The bike is a passion project of the company's design director Michael Willoway, built on the base of commissioned Brutali 800RR. The two-wheeler received a name Ago TT, after the famous MV Agusta racer and multiple winner of Grand Prix and Isle of Man trophies Giacomo Agostini. It boasts custom chromoly subframe and aluminum gas tank is performed in classic 60s design. The metalwork is also quite functional, 
as it provides the motorbike with better racing ergonomics and aerodynamics. Other upgrades include a modified exhaust system, all-in suspension package, Behringer hand controls and brakes, plus Pirelli slick tires. And finally, the Ago TT has no nameplate, headlights or turn signals to emphasize its track nature. BMW Motor Red Concept R18 Presented in May 2019, the BMW Motor Red Concept R18 is an incredible blend of modern technologies and a time-proven boxer engine from the 1960s. The brand new R18 is characterized by low elongated shapes with polished aluminum engine covers, drop-shaped gas tank, exposed universal shaft, extended fork, and discreet yellow gold varnish patterns. Despite borrowing various details from the legendary 1930s R5, in terms of technical capabilities, the new BMW Motorrad remains the bike of the future, with its main distinction located under the bodywork. The R18 concept is driven by the biggest BMW Boxer existing today, a newly designed 1800cc monster with modern air and oil cooling. Rumors already suggest that when it goes into production, a 2000cc version of the engine will be also available. This means that the new R18 is seriously determined to challenge Harley-Davidson and Indian domination in the classic cruiser market. What is the most radical motorbike from our lineup? Would you like to own one someday? Let us know in the comments below this video. Let's keep rolling! The Revival 140 This unique cafe racer was built by the Texas-based restoration shop Revival Cycles when one of its loyal customers brought in his Confederate Hellcat for an upgrade. What started out as a simple repair turned into one of the most challenging projects carried out by the company. Though the bike's frame, suspension and engine received only minor changes per the owner's request, the redesign rendered the original Confederate almost unrecognizable. The model now features a new CNC machined subframe, a hand-sculpted alloy tail section and an asymmetric body panels to cover the oil cooler and the air intake. Its engine still delivers 134 horses and 140 pound-feet of torque, but it is fitted with a new stainless steel exhaust. The seating position becomes more upright due to the newly crafted fuel tank, and the seat is updated to a hand-stitched leather unit. Triumph Rocket 3 TFC Building on the legacy of the original 2004 Rocket 3, Triumph released a factory custom version in 2019 with the limited edition production of 750 units. Disregarding the high stock price of $29,000, this power cruiser was sold out in days, since the production newcomer managed to outperform any expectations of the previously presented concept. The new rocket received a 2500cc displacement liquid-cooled inline three-cylinder with beastly 180 horsepower and 166 pound-feet of torque output. To improve power-to-weight ratio, Triumph has chosen to use alloy frame instead of the steel one, and now the muscle bike tips 638 pounds on the scales. Further improvements that have shifted the two-wheeler towards sportiness are massive upside-down forks, Brembo M50 radial calipers paired with a 330mm floating discs, and a rear monoshock. Among the standard equipments, we must highlight traction control, advanced ABS, full TFT display, and Bluetooth connectivity. MV Augusta Concepts MV Augusta has highlighted the 2019 by releasing multiple striking new conceptual designs that will translate into the production models in the nearest future. The first one is the Super Veloce 800 Neo Retro Superbike based on the company's F3 800 platform with a styling drawn from the past. It gets round LED head and tail lights, carbon fiber fairings, an exhaust system with three pipes, and exterior lines that are reminiscent of the 1970s. The other introduction is a special edition Dragster 800 RC Naked called the Shining Colt, which features a hard-to-miss livery alongside lashings of aluminum and carbon fiber and a new SC Project Reporter Corsi performance exhaust. Classified Moto Frank and Junior Looking like the post-apocalyptic artifacts, the motorcycles created by Classified Moto never fail to fascinate the seekers of radical designs. The two creations that stand out from Classified's lineup are the Frank and the Junior. The former is a collaborative project between the Virginia Workshop and Rebel Yell, who were inspired to build a unique motorbike capable of withstanding 1,000-mile long rallies. The Frank is based on the 2007 Triumph Speed Triple 1050. 
It retains lots of the original parts, including the front wheel and brakes, liquid-cooled inline-3 engine and the fuel tank. But its custom exterior is truly wild, characterized by custom exhaust, double two-color headlight and a huge 11-inch ATV rear tire supported by a custom single-sided swing arm. The Junior, in turn, is based on the 1992 Honda CT70 but enhanced by custom inverted forks and disc brake. The pipes and stainless muffler were modified, rear suspension is represented by RFY adjustable piggyback and the tires come from Shinko and Rage. Husqvarna Vitpilin 701 Aero Previewing a new generation of faster and more powerful Husqvarna models, the Vitpilin 701 Aero is a stunning sport bike concept built around the naked Vitpilin 701. The bike embodies maturation of the cafe racer styling, featuring a large front fairing that covers the headlight and the seating position. Under the blue and white bodywork sits the familiar 693cc liquid gold single cylinder engine that is most likely to net 75 horses as usual. Husky does not tell us whether the new 701 Aero introduced any mechanical changes to the original, but instead shows off the bike's modern full color TFT screen, styled to look like a classic analog speedometer. Did we manage to impress you with this lineup of brutal two-wheeled machines? What are your top picks from the video? Make sure to comment, like and share this episode with your friends. Consider watching other videos suggested on the screen and subscribe to Automotive Territory if you are enjoying our format. As always, may the torque be with you!